is going on guys it's your boy burgers kicks here again today and in this video I'm going to be doing a little quick tutorial on how to use splash force personally I use splash force you know you should only use it for easy supply and adidas some people use it for supreme I've never really tried it on supreme so but yeah I'm going to show you guys how to set up for a easy supply release adidas is practically the same way just a little there's a couple different things but it's basically the same so obviously once you download splash force and all that from the discord you'll get this when you open up the bot You'll have like tabs here. You have Adidas, Easy Supply, Supreme, Shopify, Dix, Off White. You got your create tasks, proxies, accounts, billings, and settings. All this stuff. So for Easy Supply, like obviously it says dashboard right here. This is where you'd go to like start tasks and stuff. To create them, you go to the create task tab. You select from the drop down Easy Supply. You type in the product. So like FX1234, that'd be your product billing profile you just select your billing profile right here you can select all of them by just clicking on like these and it'll create tasks for every single profile that's what I usually do just because I run every profile on on splash because I don't know that's how I do for ease supply quantity you can do one two three four that's how many tasks it'll create not how many like products it'll check out size you can do here you can do custom random you can do random or you can select the size by itself if you select sizes like this each card will have a task for five, six, seven, all those. Like each one will have it. So it creates a lot if you do this. I usually just run random most of the time because that's just how I am. And then for release type, you're going to want to do waiting room new. Unless Iwan says differently in the Splash Force Discord, currently we're all using waiting room new. That's just what we're supposed to use because they updated their, you know, updated their uh, splash and stuff like that. So. You do that, proxy, true, recap, true, custom delay. I always do custom delay. I usually do like 5,000 and 4,000, like something like that. It doesn't, as long as it's above like 3,500, 400, like, or 4,000, you're fine because that way you shouldn't get banned. And then um, a big thing is when you go to your settings, make sure recapture v3 action has nothing in it. You want to make sure it's blank. You want to make sure there's nothing if there's something in it, it will ruin everything see i use aycd in here it works perfectly so like after you create the tasks let me just create them here you'll see them all right here in the e supply tab so a big thing with splash horse and obviously you know yeast supply is you need to have v3 captures so to get your captures you're gonna want to harvest them right here you click the little harvest button It'll pop up your capture solver. I have two solvers here. And um, personally, what I do is usually I run one local and one with a proxy. And to add a proxy, you go to like the tab up here, paste your proxy in, and then you have to click apply proxy. If you don't click apply, apply proxy, nothing's going to happen. You, it won't stay. Nothing will stay. And then when you switch back, it'll be gone. There is a visual bug sometimes where it shows like the proxy isn't there, but it actually is. I don't know why. And then another thing is if you're getting stuck on like the band captures, you can switch out your proxies. You click a pro apply. Well, I can't talk boys. Um, and then you, you would just uh, click skip if it's like not working. And if it doesn't keep like, I guess fixing itself, you have to close the whole bot and restart it, which is kind of pain in the ass, but you know, that's what you have to do. And then, so basically for an Adidas task, that was G Supply, this is for Adidas, it's basically the same exact thing, but instead you do like the product ID right here, like FX1234, billing profiles, all that. You pick your region, they have a bunch of regions here. Capture, you leave as false, proxy is true, size, obviously you pick any size you want. For this, you do, there's release type, there's product, waiting room, and raffle. So you would do waiting room, and then you do like the splash URL, like which would be this. You do that. And then you can do like specific procs, you don't have to. Leave your recap three as true. You can do a custom delay, and then you create the task, obviously. And then once you create them, you'll see them in the dashboard, but they'll be under the little Adidas tab right here. And you can be running Adidas and Easy Supply at the same time. It's not a big deal. That's what I use. If they're both dropping, I do that. So, But, yeah. It's fairly simple. You have your proxies here as well. You can test them and stuff like that. Accounts. All that stuff. But, yeah, it's a fairly simple bot to use. It cooks. You know, that's all that really matters. So, 
I hope this guy this helps you. And um, if you have any like comments, questions, or anything like that, just drop them in the comment section. I'll try and answer them and help you guys. You can also hit my social links, which will be in the description. Yeah, it's your boy Bergen. I'm signing off. Peace.